classes that conform to an observable object can be used in more than one Swift UI view, and all of those views will be updated when the published properties of the class change. In this app, we're going to design a view specifically for adding new expense items. When the user is ready, we'll add that to our expenses class, which will automatically cause the original view to refresh its data so the expense item can be shown. To make a new Swift UI view, you can either press Command N or go to the File menu and choose New File. Either way, you should select Swift UI View under the User Interface category, then name the file addView.swift. If you find that the group doesn't have a yellow folder next to it, please select that, then make sure you save the file inside the iExpense directory alongside your other code. All being well, Xcode should show you the new view ready to edit. As with our other views, our first pass to add view will be simple and we'll add to it. This means we're going to add text fields for the expense name and amount, plus a picker for the type, all wrapped up in a form and the navigation view. This should all be old news to you by now, so let's get into the code. At state, private var name equals empty string. At state, private var type equals personal. At state, private var amount equals empty string. Static let types equals an array of business personal. Navigation view, form, text field, name, text, dollar name, picker, type, selection, dollar type. For each, self.types, id backslash dot self, text dollar zero. Text field amount, text dollar amount, dot keyboard type, dot number pad. Dot navigation bar title, add new expense. We'll come back to that in a moment, but first let's add some code to content view so we can show add view when the plus button's tapped. In order to present add view as a new view, we need to make three changes to content view. First, we need some state to track whether or not add view is being shown, so add this as a property now. At state, private var, showing add expense equals false. Next, we need to tell SwiftUI to use that boolean as a condition for showing a sheet. This is done by attaching a sheet modifier somewhere to our view hierarchy. You can use a list if you want, but the navigation view works just as well. Either way, add this code as a modifier to one of the views in content view. Dot sheet is presented, dollar showing add expense. Then inside there a comment, show an add view here. The third step is to put something inside the sheet. Often that will just be an instance of the view type you want to show, like this, add view. Here though, we need something more. You see, we already have the expenses property in our content view. And inside add view, we're going to be writing code to add expense items. We don't want to create a second expenses object in add view, but instead we want to share the existing instance from content view. So what we're going to do is add a property to add view to store an expenses object. It won't create the object there, just say that it'll exist. So please add this property to add view. At observed object, var expenses, expenses. And now we can pass our existing expenses object from one view to another. They'll both share the same object and we'll both monitor it for changes. Change your sheet modifier and content view to this. Add view, expenses, self.expenses. We're not quite done with the step yet for two reasons. Our code won't compile, and even if it did compile, it wouldn't work because our button doesn't trigger the sheet. The compilation failure happens because when we made the new Swift UI view, Xcode also added a preview provider so we can look at the design of the view while we're coding. If you find that down at the bottom of addview.swift, you'll see that it tries to create an addView instance without providing a value for the expenses property. That isn't allowed anymore. But we can just pass in a dummy value like this. Expenses, expenses. The second problem is that we don't actually have any code to show the sheet, because right now the plus button in content view adds test expenses. Fortunately, the fix is trivial. Just replace the existing action with code to toggle our showing add expense boolean like this. Self.showing add expense equals true. 
if you're on the app now, the whole sheet should work as intended. You start with content view, tap the plus button to bring up an ad view where you can type in various fields, then can swipe to dismiss.